swordsman with a very high-pitched voice and a very high volume that I forgot to turn down, so you probably can't hear a word I'm saying. Uh, I turn the volume down. There we go, that's much better. So, welcome to another video in the How To Splatoon 2 series. And today, we and, we and our squeaky voices are going to go in, well, I and my squeaky voice are going to show you how to use a slosher. Now, the slosher is just a giant fat bucket. But do you know what's sad? It's a giant fat bucket that is overpowered no matter what type of it you use. And I love this weapon class to bits. I mean, I don't main it. I main a completely different weapon class that's even more overpowered than this one, but this is definitely number two on my list. So, yeah, who's ready to learn about the wonderful world of sloshers? Uh, hopefully you are, but if you are ready, then leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. The current sub goal is 20. At this time of this recording, I have 14 or 15 subscribers. I can't remember, so we're getting there. And just a friendly reminder, I have a special video. Um, and then at the end of the video, if... Well, actually, I'll just say it at any point during the video, so you have an incentive to watch it all the way through, because you don't know when it's going to be. So, I'll tell you what the special video idea is. Yeah, all right. So without that, with that over with, let's just, let's just go. So, if we reset the room, because it's messy. It's a Splatoon 2 game. It's supposed to be messy. What, Splatoon 2 game? Like, there's not only one Splatoon game. There we go. So, Slasher is a bucket. Yeah, it's a bucket, all right? It's it's just a bucket. It doesn't make sense to be in a stinking shooter game, but here it is, and it's overpowered. Range is, and, eh, and damage is high up there. Handling is in the middle. I'm not even really sure what handling is. I I've never understood handling in any video game where it's appeared. But, yeah, so, range. I mean, well, I'm doing this out of order, help me, I'm not. <laughs> I've been working in my backyard all day because a tree fell and almost hit our house and I had to help cart it off. So, yeah, I'm exhausted. But I wanted to record this video because I'm running out of time to record it. And I want to get it out soon, so yeah. Uh, so the weapon order is Slosher, Slosher Deco, and Soda Slosher. Yeah, all right. So the Slosher's got pretty good range. Uh, actually, it's probably go over the Slosher. I'm sorry for doing this so out of order. I I'm just not in it today. I'm in non-video gaming mode, so I'm also in spinning mode, apparently, so yeah. Uh, let's look at the range. So we'll start with three. Uh, Slosses aren't really known for their range, but we'll see. How about four? Nope. Three and a half? And no. Three and a quarter? No, so it looks like it's going to be three. All right, so there you go. As for damage, well... One, two, and two. Yep, two hits. All right, awesome. And handling, I don't freaking know. All right, we're just gonna pay attention to the first two stats. So overall, the rating I give to the basic slosher is two and a half. All right, two and a half. Okay, I, I just, two and a half is all I can really give it right now. I mean, Two and a half, it, it's the basic type, all right? I need to get better in my, more in my recording group. But yeah, two and a half, it's the basic slosher. It's going to have the basic stat. So next up on our list, we have the wonderful, the decent, not really all that great. We have the, oh, right. I was thinking of a different one. The holy crap, it's the tri slosher. The tri slosher is overpowered and yet I use it because I, because I'm not good at the game and I need an overpowered weapon to do any damage. Uh, it's sad, but it's true. The range, it's not great, but the damage and the handling, it's pretty good. But the tri slosher has a gimmick that isn't really shown off with the stats. It's versions of the tri slosher and the tri slosher new view because I hit level 30 and now I can see all the weapons, yay. Uh, but yeah. Let's look at its little effects. So let's look over here. Yeah, you see, you see how at the end it, it spreads out into like three different segments? That's the try of speaking. And it can hit you multiple times because of it. Resulting in a one shot. So if you're close to it or something, I don't know. But with the wide shots, it, 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 it's got very fast flip rate. So if we change back over to the slosher, we'll see that this is me spamming, all right? Uh, 
I'm gonna restore my ink, and then if we switch back over to the tri slasher, this is me spamming. Substantially faster, right? And with more ink coverage, it's very powerful in turf war. And in combat, it's just nearly impossible to get by. And that's what makes the tri slasher so stinking overpowered. Now, obviously, the new view is better because it doesn't. It doesn't have, you know, ink armor up in the top right. Yeah. Ink armor sucks. But. It's still overpowered, can't deal with it. All right, let's look at range. So if we start from two, we got it, easy. If we go from three, however, not so much. Two and a half, two and a half, nope, nope, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, it looks like. Alrighty then, so next, we have the one, the only, they just damage, all right. One, two, it's a two hit again, all right. Suck it up. And handling is handling. All right, so now the overall rating I give the Tri Slusher is a weighty 4.5 stars. It's that powerful, and it is one of my favorite Slushers because, yeah, the Slushers are that good that they have another weapon that's almost as good as the Tri Slusher, if not as good or better. So, I did not mean to hit X. I meant to hit plus, so we can look at the next weapon. We have the Slushing Machine! Haha, <laughs> funny, funny game. It's very interesting. The slashing, machine, the slashing Machine Neo and the Kenzo Slashing Machine. And none of them are all that great. All right. The range are decent. The damage is off the charts with the Slashing Machine. And the handling is mediocre, but we're not paying attention to the handling, so what the heck. Let's reset because I'm running out of space. And let's get into the range. Actually, Slashing Machine, it, it's sort of like a bomb, all right? It, it's very fast, kind of. It lands faster than the others, if that makes any sense. And you can aim it higher as well and go farther. So it's, it's got, got that going for it, yeah, but is it all that good? Well, let's find out. If we start from three, can we hit it from three? Oh yeah, we can hit it from three. And we can hit it from four. Nope, we can't hit it from four. Uh, three and a half. Nope, three and a quarter? Nope, so just three. All right, so, wait, did I get it from three or I don't know, okay, so just from three, oh, awesome. And as for damage, well, so you can see how it's making sort of the sound effect that it does when you get a charge hit. Like that, 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 that light beam, you see it? When, you, when I hit it head on, I got that light beam coming out from the reticle. Well, if we hit it not right on, like that, It'll do less damage, and that's a three hit kill. But if we hit it directly on and get our little flash, it's a two hit, and a very powerful two hit, if I do have to say that. So it's definitely up there as one of the cooler weapons. But overall, the rating I have to give it is a, it's a three and a half, all right? The slushers are all good, but this is a three and a half because it doesn't have any resounding gimmicks. Like it's, it's, it's pretty good, but you know, I just use it to be for fun, all right? I love using any slosher except for the main one because the main one's boring, but I really like using the sloshing machine because that when you hit someone dead on and with a slosher and get that little flash instead of just a charger because I can't play a charger, go check out that video. Link is in the Actually, I'm not putting the link in the description. I'm gonna have the playlist at the end of the video so you can check out every other video in the series if you haven't already. So yeah, go, you should go do that once you watch to the end. And now it is time for me to reveal what video is going to be the special video. It's a Mario Maker 2 challenge. Uh, once we hit 20 subscribers, I figure that's enough people for me to do this group project, sort of. You, I'm gonna come up with a theme for a level in Super Mario Maker 2. And you guys get to make me those levels using that theme and put the level code in the description of the video when I announce it's actually going to happen as a 20 sub special. And then, like, I don't know, two weeks, two or one or two weeks from then, I will do the review video, unless there's not a lot of level codes, and then I'll wait some longer. But, yeah, once we hit 20 subscribers, the special video will come out, and you will get to see and join the Mario Maker 2 challenge. So, get excited for that. Don't tell anybody in the comments, or you will be shamed for all eternity, because it's supposed to be a surprise, and get them to watch the entire video, alright? And I know that's kind of just my statistics saying my average view duration is really slow. Then I found out they ordered it very badly and it depends on how much it's washed in a single day. So the longer it's been since it came out, the heck of a 
lot, lot less, not the let loss. <laughs> That's, I can't speak, I'm sorry. The heck of a lot less that the average view duration gets. So, but still, I want you guys to watch the entire video. So, there we go. Don't tell anybody in the comments. Let's get back down to it. And yeah, the next weapon we have is... It's the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all right. This is a fantastic weapon. So, it's also known as, not only is it known as the Blob Lobber, but in the words of Alpha Star 716, the bubble blobbing bathtub beauty, he's a Blob Lobber main, in case you can't tell. And would you want to have a slosher that is a lot, pretty much a one hit kill, or two hit kill, but what, whatever, except it has the range of a charger. Oh, but you just got your wish, buddy, watch this. This is my favorite slaughter. I'm not surprised, all right? Um, look, look, look at this. I'm not surprised I like this so much. You probably like this so much after watching me. Like, it, it, look at all these bubbles going everywhere. This is insane. This is overpowered. And yeah, you can get it at level 10, all right? So if you were starting Splatoon and you are wanting to use this as a guide, then get the blob blobber as fast as you possibly freaking can. The variants of the blob blobber are the blob blobber and the blob blobber deco and something else that we're not going to talk about because it's a different weapon class and I accidentally spoiled it, but nobody cares because this isn't a spoiler thing if you know what Splatoon 2 is and you know anything about the game. So, come on, look at this. The range is really freaking great, obviously. It's 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 a, it's a slosher with the range of a charger. It's going to be great. And the damage, it's only like. 30 per hit, but considering you're firing at four hits and one shot, it's basically a one-shot kill, all right? I mean, the range, let's actually get in the numbers. Two, uh, three. Mm, that's four. We hit it from five. Oh my goodness, six. No, okay, we can't hit it from six. Can we hit it from five and a half? Mm. Nope, five and a quarter? Nope, so it looks like we can only hit it from five. But <laughs> we can hit it from five. Is that not incredible? And of course, the damage is a one shot. So, yeah, it's incredible. And the rating I give for it is a five stars i think this is the first five stars in this series honk honk it's the best weapon in the game except for my main weapon that i use all the time all right and now i'm beating on my couch because i'm so excited just you can hear in my voice i'm running out of breath let me just keep talking ah! i'm sorry i like this weapon a lot i i really do all right and i'm not just faking this seriously i started running out of breath and i don't i should really relax a bit all right i'm sorry for putting your ears through that and I'm sorry for taking so long to cover one weapon. But we're not done yet. We still have the x -Plosher. It's variant x -Plosher and custom x -Plosher. The range is great, the damage is great, but the handling is really bad. But we don't care about the handling, so overall it's a pretty good weapon. And I need to start talking a lot slower, all right? So, gotta slow it down, all right? Okay, mm -hmm. we're slowing it down. So, from three. Yep, we can hit from three, all right? So the x is gimmick, actually. I haven't covered it. <laughs> it's reset because I can't really tell what's going on. Is he throwing, oh, that looks like a booyah bomb. It looks like a tiny little booyah bomb. Oh, it's exploding when it hits the ground. Explosher, ha ha, funny, you get it, you get it, you get it, don't you? Um, but yeah, it, it's basically a tiny little booyah bomb fiber, except it's not as devastating as the booyah bomb. I just realized how many times I mentioned the booyah bomb in one of these videos. It's, it's really badly, I, I need to stop. But yeah, the explosher, is, it's really great. So, but it's not as good as the blob lobber and the other weapon that I can't, it, it's, Try slosher, that's what it is. So we can hit it from four as well. Can we hit it from five? Don't think we can hit it from five. How about four and a half? Oh, four and a half. Four and three quarters? No, we can't hit it from four and three quarters. So four and a half. All right, cool. Damage is a... I think it depends. So let me... One, two. Two hit, awesome. And overall, the rating I give to the x Blusher is a pretty decent, not gonna lie. Three and a half, which... Is that the same as the slashing machine? Yeah, it is. See, all the slashers are good. 
And the worst one is the main one at 2.5. That's how good they are. Also, if you hit close to it, and you can really get the explosion and start stacking up. I mean, especially if you hit it dead on at like the boom. See, I'm good at this game. And now you're probably wondering, which is better, the blob lobber or the blob lobber? All right, let's 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 just go. We're done here. I got to select the blob lobber. In case you're wondering, which is better, the blob lobber or the blob lobber deco? Well, Sheldon, show us which is better, the blob lobber or the blob lobber deco. I don't know what I should do for a Sheldon voice. All right. We're just gonna make it as Toad relatable as, as possible because Sheldon's annoying and Toad's annoying, so, yep, obvious. Okay, ah, oh, guys, if you're watching the video, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm having a hard day. <laughs> um, okay, we're just gonna go with my normal voice. Uh, all right, Lone and his viewers, the best version of the Blah Blubber is the a horrible drum roll. Well, let's look. Sprinkler or suction bomb launcher? Splash wall or ink storm? <laughs> it's the blob lover deco. I mean, the blob lover is more faithful, but it's got the suction bomb launcher, so the blob lover deco is immediately superior. So let's actually. Did I buy it or not? Did, did, I, did I buy it? Also, I haven't mentioned this today. Support Team Shaken or you'll die. I I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not a murderer. Uh, no, I'm not saying that. I was gonna do it though. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so sorry. I don't think I've actually bought it yet. So I'm sorry for wasting your t wasting your time with a giggling maniac trying to record a YouTube video sharing the good news about how overpowered the Blob Blobber is. Why are you even watching me? That's the question I have for you today. All right, let let's buy let's buy the Blob Blobber Deco. Thank you. All right, now let's go and do some things. And I didn't actually pay it. Yes, it's not splat zones for once. I'm sorry I lost my mind over that last time. That was pretty immature of me. But then again, this entire video has been pretty immature of me. So, hmm. I need to do better next episode because I told myself when you did the fourth part of the Mario Kart to Lux and I was like, you weren't very energetic. You did not make a good video and I was sad. So now I guess I'm over energizing this video. I'm sorry for that. So now I'm gonna tone it down and try not to get too overexcited as I do more in the matches than I do during the normal video. So this is gonna go absolutely horribly. So turn four matches, maps, not matches, port mackerel, insters in shipyard. Oh my goodness. Port mackerel and the blob blobber put together cause nothing but dementia and sadness for the other team. Port mackerel, if you probably don't recall cause I don't think I've ever done it on this series. I don't think I have, but Port Mackerel is a very small stage in close quarters and has very thin passageways. So if you send two Blob Lover shots going flying down around the middle, you're gonna send your enemies right out the other side, hopefully in the arms of a waiting teammate. So let's jump right in and hope and pray that we get Port Mackerel, because if we don't, I'm gonna be the one with dementia and sadness. Not really, but... Come on, someone's gotta apply the comedy, even if it's put into an extreme overdose, but. All right, so we got a level three Japanese player. Wow, a Japanese player that's under level 10. Actually, a Japanese player that's not prestige. That's impressive. <laughs> I'm serious, all the Japanese players I ever see are at least over level 100. I've seen one that's at the max level, which is 199, so what the heck. Uh, I just realized we're on Port Mackerel, baby. Oh my gosh, they've got two Firesoft Pros. They've got the Forge and the Kenta. All right, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, let's just, let's just ink, all right? Let's go, let's go. It's Blob Blobber time. Also, uh, Blob Blobbers, I didn't mention this but earlier, but as you can see, they bounce off the walls, and you can use that to create some supreme angles. Uh, let's see if we can get our first Blob Blobber kill. Even though I'm not too good with this. Fire down the seat and got him! <laughs> also, something great about the blob lover is if they get you, um, if you if they get you but you still got bubbles going towards them, you can actually kill them post mortal. And we've got we've got a bugger here. We've got a bugger here! Boom, 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 boom. I don't care at all. Just give me those stupid I wanna be alive! Take me away! Uh, I thought I was going to calm myself down, I guess not. Alright. We're gonna keep going this way. If he comes after me, he's going to suffer a very long and bad night, I guess. Hello! 
Come on, I didn't even get to kill myself. All right. Post-mortal death. You see what I was talking about there? See? See, do you know why this weapon is superior? Because it's the Blob Lobber. And it, it, it's broken and frankly needs to be nerfed. But hey, I'm not exactly advertising that. Go ahead, be my guest, uh, Hasashi Nogami. Don't, don't nerf it. Oh, worried about Ghoulie Boys? Well, you can hit him from anywhere. Except I've got a brush on my team, and that makes anything much better. So Let's angle some shots here. Um, he's gonna come out, and he is going to suffer! He's going to suffer? Gosh, I'm not getting the kill, am I? I don't think I can hit And I got hit by the torpedo. Gosh darn it! I've never gotten splattered by a torpedo in my life, now that I think about it. And now I'm depressed. See, Dimension Scientists can still come from playing on Poor Mackerel with the Blah Blah Blah. Uh, well, actually, are we winning? We're winning. All right, we're smoking them. All right, that, that's good. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I need to turn it down. I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> that's Splatoon in a nutshell. Thank you very much. Post mortal death. I, I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> If you haven't already bought the Blob Lover as you're, it, when you're at least level 10, then oh my goodness, you have some issues. You need to go resolve those issues right now. Let's smoke them out. Let's smoke them out, boys. Oh, he's dead. All right, doesn't matter. I'm out of ink. Oh my goodness. That's a torpedo. That's a torpedo. That's a freaking torpedo. Who fires you there? Mass depression and sadness. Okay. Got you! Couldn't get Yoshi though. Did we win? We won. We absolutely won. We absolutely won. Blah Blubber is king. Blah Blubber Deco is king. Any Blah Blubber is king. Just gosh, wow, that was a lot closer than I expected it was gonna be. But we still won. I mean, come on. I always lose his matches because I'm never using a weapon I main. Like last episode with the Splatlings, I got last place both times on my team. And I think we won once, but I, I don't remember because I deliberately forgot everything that happened. So yeah. How's your day going? Uh, we're done with this though. We're gonna be doing Rainmaker. And I normally use the Blob Lover for Clam Blitz. I just like using it for Clam Blitz. But it, it's Rainmaker, so. The maps are Skipper Pavilion and Moray Towers. All right, so that's interesting because Skipper Pavilion Skipper Pavilion, I don't think we've done that yet in this series. It's an interesting map. If you don't know, it's sort of like a U-turn. The bases are parallel to each other. If the line's going straight down the middle. You know what, if we get it, you'll see what I mean. If we don't get it, then I just realized this video is about half an hour long right now because I started at around, with an hour left on my time. Oh no. <laughs> I really, I really don't like having long videos because that means when I put them through my editor, it takes an Okay. All right then. You know what? Suddenly I'm starting to wonder why I paid $20 for this surface. Actually, I paid for the family membership, so I spent $36 on this purchase. For a freaking service that doesn't work. I really don't like NSO. I really don't. I mean, the, like the Super Nintendo and the NES games are fun. I, I play them occasionally, but still, all right. I, I would much rather not have the Super Nintendo and NES games and have free internet back, all right? I mean, the internet, it used to be free, come on. It used to be free. And then the Nintendo Switch started having sales, and then they realized that Microsoft and Sony have online services, and they're like, you know what? They're making money. And I'm making voice cracks, but nobody cares. But yeah, they're making money. Why don't we keep ripping people off and then we'll get money? See, see logic. Logic, freaking gosh darn logic. I love it. Nice day. Nice day, oh my goodness. That is an auto bomb. It's, it's the little, it's the little leg boy. The little leg boy. The little leg boy. Whoa! I cannot get kills. Um. Yeah, the rainmaker on this map is pretty broken. I, I won't lie. But we got more towers. We didn't get Skipper Pavilion. So, sort of. Imagine having a U-turn, and 
and I just jumped right into a splashdown. All right, I I'm ashamed of myself. Also, we're about to win immediately. How many kills did I get? Zero? And I got zero kills. Then if you think about it, I did nothing to help this team. I mean, it's always the guy with the Rainmaker that wins when you're on Mori Towers. Whoever gets it first pretty much clinches it. We got I got last place on the team for freaking. Well, that is certainly interesting. How the living heck did I not get last place? I didn't get any kills, I didn't use my special at all. I didn't really ink anything other than it matters, and I never even touched the Rainmaker. So what the heck? I'm confused, all right? Thankfully, this video is pretty much, pardon me, this video is pretty much over. So if you enjoyed this, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and don't tell people in the comments what the special video is. If you do, then I will dislike your comments. Also, I have a question, and I probably should have noticed this by now, but I don't think you can actually tell how many dislikes a comment has. What the heck? What the literal heck? You know what? I'm gonna leave you on that happy thought. Your dislikes don't matter. Nobody wants to hear your opinion. Unless you're appreciating their opinion. You know what? I need to stop being depressing for once in my life. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe, even though I already said that, and yada yada yada, and I will see you later.